COVID-19 has damaged the trust Canadians have in their American neighbours, while US residents collectively have more faith in their northern counterparts than they do in themselves, a new online poll suggests. When is Canada getting a border wall? I hear Mexico is buying. LOL you think COVID is what suddenly damaged the trust? Removed. Being next to America is like watching your neighbor's house start on fire, it's enthralling and kinda cool, in a crazy and bad way, but you can't look away. Then it gets progressively more oh, shit. As the flames get bigger and the heat more intense and you just hope like hell it doesn't spread to your own house. Canadians just watched three dudes get away with open murder of a man who was jogging in America. It's much more than covered, man. We've got a lot of problems with you people, and now you're gonna hear about it. 1. Shoes inside the house. Why? 2. How is it so hard to get a coffee with milk instead of cream down there? 3. Your border agents are very mean. 4. White Castle does not need to exist. 5. Gary Bettman. Since Donald Trump took office, the trust Canadians have in America has decayed exponentially. I'm a Canadian who travels all over the US because of my job and consider many Americans my friends. I have been to about 25 different states and experienced both urban and rural America. What bothers me most is that the US can no longer be trusted as an ally. The Kenos border has been unmilitarized for over 200 years and Donald Trump threatened to station troops a few weeks ago, https colon slash slash global news. CA slash news slash 6735064 slash coronavirus militizing Canada us border slash. He has also threatened the ruination of my country, https colon slash slash www. Fester com slash news slash world slash 2018 slash 09 slash 07 slash Trump warns he could cause the ruination of Canada. HTML, and called me a national security threat, HTTP colon slash slash global news. CA slash news slash 4355100 slash defense steel tariffs Canada security threat slash. At the same time he's sucking up to long-time common enemies of ours like North Korea and Russia. We are the only thing standing between the USA and Russia and Donald Trump has made it very clear he prefers Russia. Both of my grandfathers fought alongside Americans in WW2. Canadian troops have even fought beside Americans in nearly all of their stupid wars in the Middle East. I would be worried of getting stabbed in the back going to war with the USA under the current leadership. We all know what happened to their Kurdish and Ukrainian allies. Edit, thanks for the gold, yet it's cause of COVID we lost trust in Americans. It's nothing to do with the constant mass shootings, mass incarceration, military projection, Trump, religious extremism, dangerous pseudoscience and anti-intellectualism. Canadians can understand that Americans made a mistake by electing Trump, we all make mistake. But the fact that there is still, after three and a half year of complete nonsense, about 40% support in the US is appalling to a majority of Canadian. I'd imagine these polls look pretty similar all over the world. US leadership is a joke and everyone can see it, COVID-19 has damaged the trust Americans have with each other and their appointed leadership. Sauce. I am a disappointed American. I really, Really am thankful for living in Canada and it's so easy to point at the headlines in the news lately and say wow Americans are so dumb, but I know that a huge majority of Americans are no different than us in Canada. They're rational, level-headed people that unfortunately are being governed by a narcissistic reality TV host that has no business being there. The people protesting the COVID-19 lockdown while walking around with guns do not represent America and I think the majority of us Canadians understand this. Just so my Ameri bras know, we consider you guys as one of us. Hang in there and we'll get through this together. Edit, I understand what Trump has done in regards to Canada's relationship with the US but I still feel like the majority of our Ameri bras have the same values and beliefs. Of course we have many different people in both Canada and the US but I strongly feel that in the end Canada and the US will always be there for each other. Not trying to rep beg. 
I don't give any hoots about karma but it's something I think people need to see during this fucking insane time, that Canada still has your guys back even if your leadership feels otherwise. On the Canadian side, our trust in the USA has been hit hard by the 2016 elections, and the erratic, illogical behavior of the last two Republican presidents. Bush too was undoubtedly the worst president since at least the Great Depression and he put tariffs on our lumber and steel, so a lot of Canadians were not a fan, especially the ones in the lumber industry. I worked in that industry in 2016 and everyone saw the writing on the wall when you voted in an even more incompetent and moronic Republican. Sure enough one of the first things he did was slap tariffs on our lumber and steel, because Trump is simply a doubling down of W's terrible economic and fiscal policies. I would guess these numbers were similar after the 2004 election after W was re-elected to disastrous consequences for the country and the world, including the near collapse of the world's financial system, sounds familiar doesn't it? I know a lot of people here that refuse to even visit the US with Trump in power. I personally will not be visiting while COVID is still a thing, because the incompetence that Trump has shown in dealing with it does not fill me with trust. Trudeau has his faults, but he's certainly been better at keeping Canadians informed compared to Cheeto Jesus. I'm fine with Trudeau, he's not amazing but he's not bad either. He definitely benefit from not being a populist leader a la Trump, Borso, Johnson, etc. Being an American is like going to the grocery store with your mom and they start yelling at the cashier and there isn't much you can do but look on in pain and attempt some sort of consoling glance before leaving in shame. It's real. Even our right-wing politicians don't like Trump, we are fairly united in our hatred of the current American government. If they are re-elected November that sentiment will likely extend to the majority of the population as well. Made it pretty funny when Trump was thinking about putting troops at the Canadian border to prevent illegal crossing. Appreciate the ego but it's absurd to think we're up here seeing that dumpster fire and thinking yeah looks good to me. If this is how we make America great again, I'd say it was a complete fucking failure. Trump is a moron, and his supporters are fools. He has abdicated America's leadership in almost every sphere. A shameful loser me as a German, we watch constantly to the United States. But the narrative has shifted since Trump gained presidency. We still report about the US, majorly because we have strong economic ties, but the undertone is different. All the news outlets report about US in a monotonous voice. No excitement, nor sarcasm either. It's just news that are read, like a receipt for an 5,000 year old cake that literally everybody knows. As for the population, we start to hate America and we sort out to find new friends. Preferred European partners to work closer with, and we respect Canada a lot. They are reasonable people in the Northern American continent that is closer to us. We also condemn Russia and China. It's a miracle how the land of the free is on the same step as Russia, China, and North Korea. It's a shame and I feel deeply for the more educated us American population. As for Canadians, you stay like this. I see you as Europe far away. Edit, mixed up condone slash condemn. Sorry. Not my first language. Actually the third. Be nice. Edit 2, I am new. I have no idea who's talking to whom or what the colored sidebars mean. I was trying to understand for 5 mo. Be extra gentle on a obviously not so tech savvy idiot. Canadian here, I hope they do not rush to reopen the border anytime soon. My trust in my American neighbors was damaged when Trump was elected. It was the first American election I stayed up all night to watch, I couldn't sleep after it, I was stunned. Which sucked for me personally, because I also worked the next day and went from I can go into work on 5 hours to sleep to whelp, guess it's no hours of sleep. But the boldness of the hypocrisy on display with ever Republican that voted for Trump was just insane to me. We're all hypocrites to some degree, but the fact that he dragged about sexual assault and it didn't seem to hurt him was eye-opening. My trust was damaged when he actually tried to go through with his boneheaded immigration promises, when we saw photos coming out of the migrant camps at the border, when he got into a million dumb trade wars, when he renegotiated NAFTA, 
and it's not clear what good that did anyone, tbh, when the GOP didn't give a shit about the Russian interference, when the GOP didn't give a shit about the Mueller report, and when the GOP acted like voting not to impeach was somehow a lesson. Back before this pandemic was a pandemic, when we were waiting to see if a quick response worldwide might possibly stop it in its tracks, I had no confidence in Trump's ability to manage the crisis and all Trump had to do to manage the crisis was step aside, let the experts run the show, and offer encouraging words at the press conferences but I just knew he couldn't possibly manage that. It's going to be tough to get that goodwill back for a lot of people in my generation. As a Canadian, things like Republicans trying to pass the buck on how the 9-11 countries got into the US, https colon slash slash www fester com slash news slash world slash 2009 slash 04 slash 24 slash 9 11 underscore terrorists underscore came underscore from underscore canada underscore mccain underscore insists html or americans blaming canada for the 2003 blackout before there was any evidence and when it was ultimately not a fault that originated in ontario https colon slash slash www fester com slash business slash economy slash 2013 slash 08 slash 13 slash blackout underscore 2003 underscore how underscore ontario underscore went underscore dark html are pretty formative memories the knowledge that as americans derided canada for not being part of the coalition of the willing Canadian forces were taking over America's responsibilities in Kandahar in Afghanistan, one of, if not the, most dangerous territory for NATO troops in Afghanistan, so the US could shift their focus on Iraq is something that will just be a perfect encapsulation of how American, or at least Republican, leadership treats Canada. The Republicans, at the very least, have made it pretty clear what they think of Canada and I don't think I'll ever forget where we stand in their eyes. Americans might think that Trump is the reason for this low opinion but, for me, Republicans are.